Hey guys, this skill that I'm going to show you today is important at every level, but especially at the intermediate level. So if your rating is 1500, 1600, 1700, 1800, 1900, really listen up. Add this drill to your daily routine. It's short backspin serve by the power pong robot, followed up by deep backspin ball. And you're just isolating those two balls over and over again. One push, one opening loop. One push, one opening loop. See, a lot of people struggle with serve return, but when they push that one and the deep push comes, their percentage is very low for that opening loop. A lot of times players are only 50, 60, 70% on, meaning they're giving the opponent three, four, or five balls per game, free balls, just, for the, just because they're inconsistent on that opening loop. So if you practice this skill, this is one of the main skills that you need if you're going to move up two or three levels. So let's dive into this. First ball, as you see on the screen, is a short backspin one, followed up by a deep topspin. Now for the short backspin, we have trajectory 35, speed 9, spin minus 1, and then delay 0. Now the next ball is the important one with the delay. So ball 2, we have trajectory 100, speed 13, spin minus 2, delay minus 50%. Now why is that delay important? Because it gives you a pause to get ready for the next one. So I've got short backspin serve anywhere, followed up by deep backspin push anywhere. Now, instead of making it anywhere, you can turn off the shuffle placement. You can turn off the shuffle placement. What does that do? That will isolate just specific zones. So if you're struggling with this drill, go ahead and just delete balls three, four, five, and six, and just set up a two ball scenario. Short forehand, deep backhand. Short forehand, deep backhand. After a while, if you want to mirror it, then what do you do? You just hit mirror, and now all of a sudden you've got short backhand, deep forehand. So if it's overwhelming for you at this point to work on short anywhere and deep anywhere, and you have one particular thing, go ahead and isolate it. So after you get good at this drill, and you're able to get 80, 85%, 90% on for your opening loop, what's the next step? Well, there's two routes you can go. Either you can give more variation to the serve or first ball, maybe like a heavier push deep or a little bit wider push, maybe with a little bit of side spin, or you can add the sequence. A lot of people talk about opening loop as being a priority, and it is, but the opening loop is just the beginning of the rally. What actually is important is the next loop and the next loop and the next loop and the next loop after that. So don't just focus on just one ball. Think about how does this shot sync or relate with the other balls. But for starters, especially if you're at an intermediate level, I would highly recommend doing this one every day. Short backspin serve and you push, followed up by a deep backspin ball and you loop. If you're watching this video on YouTube, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. And if you've got any questions, feel free to shoot us a question. We'd love to answer your questions. 